At times, you will need to adjust the Adobe Connect Meeting's bandwidth in order to reach out and accommodate the number of users who are logged into a meeting who may have low connections themselves. Now, what does that mean? In Adobe's documentation, which I'm going to show you right here, the host sets meeting room bandwidth to determine the rate in kilobits per second at which data from the meeting is sent to attendees. And the key phrase is, if attendees are using a variety of connection speeds, choose the lowest speed attendees are using. And then it shows you these procedures, which I'm about to show you in a moment, and it gives you descriptions of the different levels of connection speeds that you can see, that you can, uh, that you can adjust the meeting to. So let's go to a meeting, and I shall go to the meeting menu, and I will choose Preferences, and I see Room Bandwidth. Now the default for a meeting is Local Area Network. That's the fastest and widest. You're going to get excellent video, you're going to get an excellent screen sharing experience. DSL Cable is the next one down, and that is for folks who log in and have connection speeds over a DSL, or Digital Subscriber Line Connection. Telephone modems are almost never used anymore, and I would say just disregard the modem. If you have a meeting where people are logging in with video and expecting to share a desktop for uh, screen displays, the modem is just not going to be uh, an optimal experience. It's got to be either DSL or LAN. Probably you would want to choose DSL, and having chosen that, you click Done, and the meeting is now optimized for people who have a connection speed of anywhere from DSL on up. Here endeth the lesson.